and welcome people so today is another video on truly Ludi. so this video is on a different portion is where we talk about finance so finance is actually something i always wanted to talk about because it's something that interests me because i feel like even though people say you know capitalist world is really bad like capitalism is bad and all these kind of things like people say but at the end of the day one thing we have to acknowledge the world revol revolves around money like seriously the world revolves around money you need money for everything okay the thing is it's like you don't want to be on the bad side of money like in terms of exploiting people in terms of like doing bad thing in order for you to get money but you have to remember that you need to do things to get money and when you have money you need to know everything that's going on with your money you need to manage your money i see yourself you uh, i mean you need to see yourself as a business and if you are a business you know what goes into expense what comes into benefit and what goes out to investment all these things matter in terms of you as a person so today we're going to talk the very 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 basics of money I am no expert, so I'm just laying the ground for the basic that I actually like understand and I actually would par consider myself participating in every time I'm going to look a little bit down because I took some notes. So one thing we're going to start is like, first thing you have to ask yourself, what does finance mean to you? What do you understand about finance? What is the basic, what is like the thing, when you hear finance, when you hear personal finance, what 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 comes in mind and what does that mean for you? And uh, what is it that you understand? Um, what is your goal? And like, if you have any, and if you don't have, you should have some goals. And are you in debt? And all these kind of things it is in terms of finance. You have to ask yourself the question, what is finance to you and how can you improve your finance in terms of budgeting in terms of investing in terms of other things but today we're gonna focus focus on in terms of savings in terms of you as a person in terms of your like you know your monthly expenses basic 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 further on an other video has I learned and has I has I learned and has I teach we're gonna learn more about different things but today the basics so budgeting so today we are going to talk about the different ways to budget our life right the first thing before we start is the rule is to live within our mean or below our mean do not try to impress others that's the first thing to understand in budgeting do not try to impress other and learn of ways to make your money work for you important do not try to impress others if you want to buy something buy it for you you want to own something buy it for you don't buy it because oh everybody's wearing a birkin bag bag therefore i'm gonna spend a load of money on the birkin bag so people can see that i too am able to like buy a birkin bag like huh. no you don't want to do this you want to do it for you you save for yourself yes you could give yourself like things that are nice yes you could do these things for for yourself but you have to understand like within like the realms of your finance are you able to do certain things maybe you should do something different than something like very expensive like that so live within your means or below your means or understand how to spend your money and how to not live like you know like you're above you're like literally trying to some breath you're like you everything is just like you can't take it anymore you understand what I'm saying? So first thing first, what I suggest is savings account. Savings are important because savings are good for emergencies. Savings are good for large purchases. Like for example, if you want to buy a car, if you want to buy a house, you need to put your money into a savings account in order for you to build up that down payment that you're going to give on this car, that you're going to give on this house, any that big large purchase you're going to like put so you need to put your money somewhere what i recommend is high interest savings personally i know of two there might have actually i know of three so there might have like other bank out there who have high um 
interest saving high interest is like 1.9 percent api so these banks are um what i know is discover online savings um capital one bank like the saving 360 and also you have a lie bank i was reading about this too so you could google all these three to learn more information about their saving the savings account they offer and see if it's a good fit for you remember that like you could have like multiple savings it doesn't need to be like oh this one savings account you can have multiple if you wish to have you have different different saving different like d different things these savings can do like you save for your vacation you can save for your houses you can save for whatever it is that you want to save for so the sec the key is to know where every penny you own is going and how you are spending it discipline is very important yes when it comes to, to budgeting discipline is very important because yes you could lay out a budget you could lay out like whatever it is that you want to do okay this is what i'm going to spend for this this is what i'm going to spend today and then when you get into a store you see something you're like and all these rules and whatever it is that you've written like go out the window and you just spend your money recklessly and you find yourself like scra scraping for money at the end of the month so discipline is very important so another thing i recommend is like start in slow step don't be like okay i'm gonna save 50 percent of whatever i earn or whatever no start slowly start slowly okay so if it's if you're just starting to do it let's say oh i'm saving 10 percent this time and then after you feel comfortable with the 10 percent, you say okay i'm gonna go up to like you know 15 percent, and then you go up your from there from a comfortable standing point the second thing we're gonna talk about is Another thing, if you're living in the U.S., I'm not sure about other cons, um, other places around the world, but eating out is a big thing because they make getting food so easy that it's so easy for you to just grab food, like with Grubhub, Uber Eat, and all these things. I'm not saying not to, like, you know, not to live in that very, very comfortable lifestyle, you know, where you could just get your food with a, the touch of, of a button, but also remember budgeting 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 is that part of your budget and if it's something that you really enjoy doing maybe you should set out an amount of money that you're supposed to spend on that kind of stuff monthly and if when you exceed that amount and when you reach i mean you don't want to exceed when you reach that amount you say to yourself okay no longer can eat out anymore i have to cook my own meal or find another alternative where you're not spending that much money so eating out is something that is very important so today the first thing like i told Told you about we were talking about basic advice about savings and investing is also important because i know people are going to say investing is important but you know investing will be discussed in future videos because today is very very basics things we're going to talk about and you have to spend responsibly and you have to have a goal and you have to understand your lifestyle and you have to know what you can and cannot spend on so um below i have attached a very um basic monthly sheet where it tracks your income it tracks your your spending your expenses and it tracks your debt and it tracks like the the amount of money that you started with the month and the amount of money the goal that you have for the month and how much money you actually save so it's like very slow process for you to get to that point where you start bettering your life you start knowing where your money is going and you start like you know taking charge of you has that business that you are so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share like subscribe because there's gonna be more video along this line and watch my other videos on different things different topics in life because i want this channel to be more fun and to involve things that i'm actually interested in and enjoy talking about so i'll see you next time because this today was finance 101 and we're gonna go delve in further into finance because like i got some extensive stuff i want to bring out to you so thank you for watching peace out